firmly pressed creases and stuff. But uh, with use and time, it eventually will. And the hamsters are capable of softening this and making it exactly what they want. And my Syrian has proven that there's no problem whatsoever. He, they don't care, actually. It's Yeah, so um, for me, these things cost 250 these things, if you buy them in packs of 10, they cost 250 If you buy them in a pack of 40, it costs $7. So I just went for quantity, actually, because I wanted lots. Um, so basically what you do, it's actually not that hard. You take this and you look for the side. So you're basically looking for this because it opens up once more this way, okay? So you're looking for this edge. You take a scissor and you cut this okay then basically you would open it up so imagine this side is gone okay this whole part's gone so now you've got this right so what you're gonna do once you've cut this thing apart you'll stack them together so remember this has already been cut so you'll have two giant pieces now you'll do it with about five or six pieces of this stuff because it will save you a lot of time, trust me. Uh, you do need a really sharp pair of scissors, a good pair, not those Crayolas or something for kids, okay? So you might want to get an adult to help you if you're a kid. But uh, basically, you just, yeah, split them. And then you stack them so that there'll be individual sheets instead of joined. And then, when you have about maybe 10, 15 pieces, because they're very thin, they're whisper thin. So you, you really don't have to worry about the thickness. So then what you're going to do is you're going to measure, you basically just do it by sight. Just approximately one inch um, thick. You're just going to cut this whole thing and you're going to do it again. And as you can see, I'm looking at my camera. I'm not even, you know, looking at the fabric, but basically just one inch. And you'll get about 10 this way. It doesn't really matter if you do it crooked or something. The hamster's not going to know. And you're definitely not going to know once you have the final product. Trust me on that. Okay, so then after you've done this and you'll have like nice thick wads of um, individuals, right? And then what you do is you just take them. They'll be like, they will look like that, right? When you're done, the whole strip. And basically just cut it straight down the middle so that you have half. See, I could have made you cut it right here, but then you'd have to cut more times because it would be too thick. So this is the best fastest way and believe me I got blisters from doing gosh like um a hundred and something sheets of this stuff so almost like 200 sheets this way um so I had to find a faster and easier way without getting more blisters so basically after you cut it that's what you get and I'm just gonna show you um what a hundred and 110 strips looks like minus the stuff you use so this is the giant Toys R Us bag, the, the biggest one you can get. I'm pretty sure every place in the world has a Toys R Us. But, um, so you just basically, well, as you're cutting them, find a clean bag or something, garbage bag, whatever. You just toss it, and then you just kind of just flip them around inside uh, when you're done, and it will really mix it. And through time, over use, it will get all mixed up. And, uh, yeah, that's your bedding. And so then you'll have clean bedding. Uh, at your disposal and if you need more you just pay like two dollars and fifty cents and make some more I mean it's really personal it's good you know nice touch to show your hamster how much you care because this stuff is absolutely dust free okay um, how I know is because uh, when I changed my Syrian which was pregnant um, I wanted to do a test run but I couldn't because she was so pregnant all of a sudden um, I put this entire bag into her bin after I cleaned it, and um, I fully Lysoled it. Uh, I'll explain how to clean the bins really fast. If you guys want to do bin cages, I'll teach you how to do that. It'll cost you, well, way cheaper, and you'll get a big bin. But basically, I put this all in her bin, and then I dumped it all out, and then I took uh, I took a black cloth, uh, like a face cloth, and I wiped the entire bin. And as you, and then um, when I looked at the cloth, there was absolutely no no dust fibers on it except for the little parts because of where I cut but um, after the rinse in the wash it will definitely not and I've been using this kind of cloth for cleaning doing dishes for many many years um, the reason I picked this is because it's so thin it dries it dries in about 10 minutes if it's a washcloth like if you use it to wash dishes and stuff if you wring it dry so 
yeah, it will dry guaranteed in a day. Um, and it's just the cheapness of it. And so this stuff will cost you about, if you're just buying 10 of every color here, it'll cost you about 750 I think. And then this thing costs you 250 or three dollars at the most so you're looking about a ten dollar thing and so if you need to do your laundry you're gonna need one more so that'll be another 250 so you're looking at under fifteen dollars um, and you'll have a lot of this this stuff even uh, at ten sheets so three colors so 30 sheets it was a lot a lot a lot a lot and it will be enough to cover um, cover about four inches of a six square feet bin um, so uncompressed that is so not after the hamster stepped on it but so beforehand so it actually is quite a lot so it will be enough uh and the reason i chose this is because i plan to pile this stuff all on one side and give them like the four four inches on a slope uh so giving them a chance to dig um you can still use bedding but i i wanted to find a way to not have to do that because i'm so sick and tired of paying so much money and uh, yeah, this stuff is scent free. You can bleach it. You can put dish soap. You can actually soak these strips and wash them by hand if you really wanted to. But just make sure you put them in a mesh bag and shake out all the poop first. Um, and the thing is, even if the stuff, like during pupping, my hamster just popped and she's got blood on some of the stuff. Uh, I have no, I, I would not even lose one ounce of sleep on this if I threw it out. I mean... If I just picked through the stuff that was bloodied and threw it out, this is going to come to less than a penny. I mean, you can pick it up off the street, 25 cents by returning shopping carts. So it's not a big investment. And so this stuff is good. It's reusable. It's washable. It's scent free. Um, you won't have any allergies to this. I guarantee it because I have really bad allergies uh, to the point where I have to use an inhaler just to keep my airways open. Um, so... Yeah, and I have hamsters. <laughs> but yeah, so if you guys want to give this a shot, um, I will, on the description of this video, I will post my email. So if you want help or you need some help locating this stuff, I, I'd be happy to help you because I really think that the pet stores, short of selling you the hamster, their next biggest money maker is the bedding. And you want to give your hamster the best, but sometimes you just for whatever the reason you can't afford it so you're stuck giving them pine or cedar which is really bad for them um or you give them aspirin